So from here, we'll slowly round back into a child's pose, place the palms down and slowly lower back into it, just to a little child's pose, gentle child's pose. Stretch the back out just a little bit, carefully. Good. And then from here, very slowly, we'll come into a downward facing dog. So center yourself on your mat, tuck your toes under, place the palms down, draw the tailbone up. Good, lengthening through the spine. Let the head relax. Good, and just separate your feet a little bit so they're just hip distance apart, they don't have to be right together. That's it. Good. So let's lift the right leg straight up toward the ceiling. Point through the toe. And then bend your right knee and just let it go up and over, just stretching the hip very gently, carefully. Good, everyone. And then from here, we'll take the leg to the top of the mat into pigeon pose. So let's slowly slide the leg through. You'll take the right foot and slowly work your right foot toward your left hand or all the way back toward your left hip, depending upon your flexibility. And then we'll slowly just relax forward over the leg. And then just work to square, yes, exactly what I was going to tell you to do. Good, Melissa. So just working to square the hips and be very gentle in this pose. So piriformis may be tight. And just relax your head and your neck. And just hold this for a couple of deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Good, everyone. So you're welcome to stay in this position. If you want to try a gentle backward bend, you can lift your chest up and just release the arms behind the back and clasp your hands and then slowly lift and open your chest. That's it. Otherwise, just relax down. Very nice, everyone. And then we'll change to the other side. So place your palms down. Gently stepping back to downward dog. Good. And then we'll try the same thing on the left. So first extend the left leg straight up toward the ceiling. And bend your left knee. Slowly, gently opening up the hip. Good. And then let's take our left leg through to the top of the mat. Easing into our pigeon pose. So very, very careful. Yeah, so it's easy. Go to a very soft and gentle place first, scurrying the hips off and just relax. We don't want to go into a place that's too deep. We want to be able to focus on our breathing. Just let the head relax. Inhale, breath. And exhale, breathing. Good, let the neck relax down. And then if you like to come into your back bend, you can lift the chest and reach the arms behind your back, clasp your hands, and lift and open the chest. And gently looking up towards the ceiling, easy on the neck though. Good. And then let's slowly release, bring the palms forward, stepping back, downward facing dog. Tailbone draws up toward the ceiling. Nice inhale, breath. And exhale, breathing. Very nice, everyone. So we'll take it into Ustrasana Camel Pose, a deeper backward bend. So let's draw the knees to the floor. And you could stand on your knees or you can tuck your toes under, whatever feels more comfortable for you. We'll start by placing our hands right on our lower back. With an inhale breath, lift out of the lower spine, take the eye gaze up toward the ceiling. And you can start with that. If you feel comfortable, you can relax your head back. And then if that feels good, you can reach back and grab onto your heels. I'm just taking it slow. So we will hold this for a few breaths, so just gently into your camel pose. Good, and even though we're going back, we're still thinking up, so we're still lifting out of our waist. So we feel that stretch across our chest and we're doing the best we can to keep it out of compressing the lower back as much as possible. 
Good, and then we'll change. Place your hands on the lower back, coming up slowly. Good, and then just sit your hips back on your heels. Take a breath, you can place your palms down. We'll just try that one one more time, but just take a nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, so one more time, coming on to your knees, standing on your knees. Take it slow, so be sure, place the hands on the lower back, and you can take that breath, inhale, and feel the length before you go back, and see if you can keep that lift as you extend back. That's it. And then we don't put too much pressure on our lower backs. That's it. Looks very nice, everyone. Good work. Good job, everyone. Looks beautiful. Let's place the hands on the back, come up slowly. Good, and then just come onto all fours. So place your hands down. Just take a moment here just to neutralize our spine. And then we'll take it through a few runs of Chakra Vakasana. So on an exhale, round the spine, draw the hips back toward the heels. And then inhale, gentle arch, lower the elbows down and lift up. Good, and let's flow through that. Round and curl, draw the navel to the spine. Inhale, slowly arch and lift. Exhale, round and curl, navel to the spine. Inhale, arch and lift. Two more. Exhale, round. And inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, round, navel to spine. And inhale, arch and lift. Good job. Let's draw the hips back toward the heels. You can cross your feet and just slowly roll over, come into a seated position on your mat. We'll take it into the wide angle stretch. So let's stretch the legs straight out to the side in a wide angle. And you can prop yourself up and sit up a few times so we're sitting up nice and tall. That's it. As tall as we can, lift up in the chest. You can flex the toes up, engage the quadriceps. Let's place the right hand down, left arm up, and then slowly reach over. You can start walking your right hand to grab onto your right foot if you can reach it. You can grab on with two hands. There you go. Open up the chest. That's it. And you can stay long, Lynn, with the right arm. Let's stretch this one long. Here. There you go. Good, everyone. Just work to open up the chest, especially if you are grabbing onto your feet. Good. Let's come up, other side. So left hand down, walking out towards your left foot, right arm up. Good, engage the quads, lifting up through the stretch. Good, very nice. Opening up the chest. Good, everyone. Good, and let's come back up to the center. And we'll take it forward, so place your palms down and just walk yourself out as far as you can go without overdoing it. Keep the knees pointed up toward the ceiling so we're not rolling the feet in. Yes, flex the toes. Yeah, and relax your head. So we'll just relax in this pose for a few breaths, just stretching out our inner thighs. Just relax there. There's not much to do, so just take a breath. Do the best you can, take it. Let's rotate the knees up. So we're not rolling in, just relaxing forward. Good, everyone. And then let's round up slow. And bring your legs together. And we'll take it into head to knee pose. So just bend your left knee back so the sole of your left foot is on your right thigh. Head to knee pose. Take the arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, and then slowly fold forward. And if you can, reach forward, grab onto your toes. Good. And relax the head. And just focus on your breathing. So inhale gently. Exhale, soften the legs. We don't want to go in and really attack the stretch. So now we're working on opening up a little bit further without going too deep. Flex your toes back. 
There you go. Contract your, white, your right quadricep. Take one more inhale breath. And exhale. Good, and let's round up. I want to just switch our legs. So bring your right leg back, left leg out in front. Take your arms up. Inhale, breath, lift, and then reach over. Good. Go to a soft place first. So we have a nice soft position working on your breathing. So let your body acclimate to the stretch. And then slowly over time, you can work a little further. And if it's very easy, you can contract the quadricep, flex the toes back, draw the elbows down on the floor. You can even engage your arms, triceps and biceps really working. Good, everyone. And then let's round up. And let's come into a simple cross-legged position. So just sitting in a nice easy pose, simple cross-legged position. I want to just do a little shoulder stretch. So reach back with your right arm and reach your left arm up. And see if you can clasp onto your hands. Good. And if you like, you could even take that stretch forward. Good, and then come up slow. And then just reverse that right arm up, left arm back, clasping on. Sitting up tall first. And then if you'd like, you can go a little further. Good, and then come back to the center. And then stretch your legs straight out front. And then slowly lower all the way down to the floor. And just center yourself on your mats. We're gonna roll down on our backs bar. I'm gonna lie down, stretch the legs straight out. We'll take it into the reclining toe hold pose. So let's bend your right knee up towards your chest. Place your left hand on your hip. And then just grab onto your right big toe with your middle and index fingers. And then slowly extend the right leg straight. Good, and then use your left hand to really hold that hip down. Good, if you feel confident, you can slowly start to extend out to the side, your right leg, you can draw the right elbow down and then take the leg a little bit further. Yeah, really anchor your left thigh, so keep it on the floor. Like, yes. That's it, everyone. And then let's take the leg back to the center. If you can, just grab on with two hands. You can grab right onto the calf or right below the knee. And then if you can, round up and curl, draw your head to your knee. Good. And then release the leg down on the floor. Same thing on the left. So draw your left knee up to your chest. Grab onto the big toe. Place the right hand on the hip. And then slowly start to extend. Good, everyone. And then really supporting with your right thigh. So contract the quadricep and slowly extend out if you haven't already. Now really anchoring down through that right thigh. Good, and let's come back to the center. Grab on with two hands. If you can, round up and draw the head to the knee. Good, and then release, left leg comes down. We'll just finish up with a twist. So take both arms straight out to the side, palms flat down on the floor, bend the knees up to the chest, and then slowly let the knees fall up and over to the right side. And then you can take your gaze over your left shoulder. Good. Good. Yes, arms 
From here, take the knees back to the center, up and over to the left side, and then gaze up and over the right shoulder. up to the center, and then straighten the legs all the way down on the floor. And draw your arms all the way down by your side. It's coming into our final Shavasana resting pose. Good, just let your hands, palms relax, open. You can close your eyes. And just focus on your breathing. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, relax down. Good, feel the breath move all the way up to the top of the chest. And then exhale, let it relax all the way down. And let your shoulders be nice and soft and your knees nice and soft. Let the feet just relax and fall open. Good, one more inhale and one more exhale. Very nice, everyone. So you can stay in your Shavasana as long as you need. Focus on your breathing. So let the body relax before you get up. Good work, everyone. Beautiful job. Thank you all for joining me today. Namaste.